Well, that was silly. Free, Free agency. agency, goodness. Yeah, there was a lot of money spent. Mm-hmm. A lot of money spent. So what else do we do all summer? Well, we fade the Blue Jays. We, maybe we do. Maybe we do. <laughs> also, we check out all the other sports. Uh, you've got the CFL. You've got tennis. You've got so many other US things. U.S. Open's coming up, Oh, baby. yeah. End of August. Sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. Before the game, live and play, or, you know, how your favorite players are going to perform. Or, you know... As early as this week, where your favorite player is going to sign. Uh, doing it right since 1997. Sports Interaction. It's Canada's sports book. Most competitive odds. Sports Interaction makes it easy to deposit, play, and cash out. Join now and see all that sports betting has to offer. Head to sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. That's sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. 19 plus. Please play responsibly. Let's get into the day that Don Waddell had yesterday. Holy shit. We'll start with Pacioretty. So first off, you got to remember that the Don Waddell context has to include Tony D'Angelo. The Tony D'Angelo trade Mm. was a stroke of genius because it gave him a bunch of assets that he can then flip around and use at the trade deadline. He doesn't need those picks for drafts. He needs to win. That team needs to win. So he got Max Pacioretty and Dylan Colhan from the Hurricanes. Sorry. uh, Sorry. From the Vegas Golden Knights for nothing. <laughs> no future considerations. future considerations to the uh, Carolina Hurricanes social team rightly honored which was hilarious <laughs> Adam it was good shit Adam l- f- listen fuck all this when's the next Asian provocateur I don't know I don't know Alan has uh, Al- I-, I left Alan alone this week I'm like you're busy so did I but when is the next Asian <laughs> provocateur patches uh, 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 Jan Ruta signed yesterday Perron with the Penguins went to Detroit Perron went to Detroit the only the, signing Mark with the Andre Blues Fleury. 80 times yeah. very very good signing. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Who yeah. negotiated like that deal. Because of that flying elbow. But I tell you, man, that guy can play fucking hockey. He's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, you know that um, Matthew Kachuk's, uh, well, Keith Kachuk, um, was was around when Perron had his first camp. And he tells the story on the actual podcast. That's right. Where he like went after him in practice. He's like, stop fucking trying so hard, man. <laughs> Like, can you fuck off? Like, you're making us look bad. Did Keith Kachuk, who once <laughs> failed a team physical, was telling the rookie to not try so yeah, hard? Yeah. yeah. Weird. Like, I don't think Allen's too upset that Patches is now in Carolina. Well, he has such a great relationship with the Golden Knights. <laughs> <laughs> the Golden Knights traded Max Pacioretty, who was injured a lot of last year, but still really good when he was in the lineup. And Dylan Colhan to the Hurricanes. Coglin. 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 Yeah. Great puck moving defenseman, young guy. Depth defenseman. And he can mature. I was looking. So I watched him <laughs> doing Coglin highlights yesterday because oh, I wanted God. to know about him. And he's he, the, the Golden Knights were very happy because he put on about like 10 pounds of muscle um, in the midseason last year. And he's. He's he um, he models his game after Petra Angelo and who was on the team there and mm-hmm. he's like really happy to be a knight and uh, he could have a bright future in the NHL and then the uh, Golden Knights movement. So have that's I, my Dylan Coughlin analysis. Have either of you ever worked retail? Well, uh, retail, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Uh, I've never worked. Like worked you worked retail. the till? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So I worked the till at the zoo and yeah. I struggled with counting. Oh, me too. I never hit zero. I uh, never hit my zero. I hated counting out it was, yeah, it's the, it worst. was the worst but one of the things i remember in training is they prep you for scams and <laughs> there was a popular scam where a guy would he'd bring like a hundred dollar bill mm-hmm. or something like that and he'd be like can i get change for this mm-hmm. and he'd ask for specific denominations and he would take them and he would count them and he'd be like oh this is wrong and like he would just change so Money would change hands so often and so confusingly that you couldn't keep track of it. And before you know it, the guy's walking off with like 150 bucks after giving you $100. I think the Carolina Hurricanes looked at the Vegas Golden Knights and said, these fuckers don't know how to count. That is, uh, who better personifies that scam than the Vegas Golden Knights? Well, I, oh man, a boat's a boat, but... Jack Eichel could be anything. It could yeah. even be a boat. Like it, it, he, they've. We all agree they have great talent. Mm-hmm. Could even be a contender. Mm-hmm. Um, you lose the Vesna winning goalie for nothing, and Max Pacioretty, who you gave up Nick fucking Suzuki for for nothing. Well, it goes you back further stink. than that. Do you, do you have the list? Yeah, let's trade, yeah, yeah. Let's trade tree this. Because yeah. remember what they gave up to get Tatar from Detroit. This is one of Ken's... For second and third! That's Ken Holland's best trade in Detroit. Oh! 
<laughs> first, second, and third for Tatar. And then Tatar, Suzuki, and Norlander. Uh, Norlander, excuse me. Yep. For Pacioretty. Norlander was the pick. And Pacioretty for nothing. You stink. You stink. Boo. They'll still probably be good. But I, you got to, if you're thinking. Yeah, but there's no. Here's what I was thinking. Here's what I was thinking yesterday. I'm like, if I'm Eichel or I'm Petrangelo, I'm like, God, fuck. Are you serious? Yeah. I would be really mad. I saw a great tweet. It was the the longest, <laughs> the longest tenured uh, uh, Vegas Golden Knight was 48 days. <laughs> Dude, it's Riley Smith. It's the two Florida guys. It's Riley Smith and Jonathan March. So and who the hell else? Yeah. It was a day one. They just got here. Is William Carlson still there? Yeah. William Carlson. There you yeah. go. I mean, really, they don't need to be like this. We keep saying this. <laughs> William Carrier as well. Let's not forget oh, the Carrier. Uh, the Carrier dog. Oh, yeah. yeah. He carries <laughs> the team. Uh, <laughs> this deal was made, to, by the way, to make Vegas cap compliant. If you remember, they tried to trade to Donoff. He said no, and they were like, what? You have a no trade? <laughs> um, there's, also, there's no situation. They could win the cup next year, and it... It still, still is poor asset management. Will not have made sense that they lost Pacioretty and Flurry for nothing. Also, do we mention that the Canes got Brent Burns as well? Yeah. Salary retained. Are, yeah. We, are we moving off Golden, Golden Knights? No, no, we're staying on oh, okay, this, but, okay. but I just want to throw that out there. Don Waddell, as I remember, he's still the most fun GM in the league to watch. The guy is an absolute gangster. There's no, he's amazing. Who's Buddy, who's his assistant GM? They need to hold on to him. Um, oh fuck he used to be big on hockey twitter and now he's the assistant GM with the hurricanes and he's just rinsing teams left and right and they got Palat not Palat no Kasha oh yeah the Kasha thing is uh, CJ dropped a bomb on Trade Center uh, yesterday on TSN because when the Kasha deal came in and the desk was reading it Eric Tulski. CJ decided Eric Tulski, to, thank you CJ decided to throw out the note that the Toronto Maple Leafs offered Kasha that exact deal that he took with the Hurricanes and he decided to go with the Hurricanes I mean look at them I don't blame him look at them. neither do I no. don't blame him not at all no I also think he'll play a bigger role on the Carolina Hurricanes yep. than he will in Toronto yep mm, and I, maybe, say, I don't think he'll have role. to yeah, similar role, not. similar role, and like we we also got to remember, like he's got a long road back. Like, yeah, and they still have room. Those fuckers. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I mean. <laughs> that's what I mean. So, so staying on the Golden Knights, Jesse, because you wanted to say, what did you want to go? Yeah. So, so there was a a quote from a Sean Shapiro athletic article that was making the rounds yesterday. He he talked to a bunch of unnamed sources around the league uh, towards the beginning of the season, and one of them said about Vegas was this: Vegas treats you great until they don't. They've gone from the team of opportunity, the golden misfits, to the evil empire. As an agent, you have to warn your guy that he's expendable as soon as the salary cap doesn't fit with the plan. Look at what happened with Marc-Andre Fleury. I think as long as they win, they'll avoid problems. But if they don't, if they have a losing season, watch out. They also, this season, also don't mention, don't forget to mention Nate Schmidt in there too. He's yeah. a part of it. The, li the list runs so deep. And this is a team that has thought just time and time again ah we'll go get this guy a big cap hit we'll figure it out later and all of that now we're slowly seeing it bite them in the ass well and won't robin leonard not start the season with them yes he yeah, will. He's, he's gonna be uh, surgery. Gonna be what out. about brassois 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 he's around Pronounce i don't know if, he'll be, if he was on ir to end the year right well because what if they start next season with a tandem of logan thompson and michael hutchinson I'd say great. that limits their Stanley Cup ability. It's like, not great. Not great. Like, I do I do actually like Logan Thompson. I think that's a good contract mm -hmm. for them. But, like, the Jack Eichel deal is something that's directly cost you Max Pacioretty, Alex Tuck, Peyton Krebs, Dylan Coughlin, and the 16th overall pick oh this year. Oh, my God. And, that's a and lot that's when you put directly. it like that. And you know what's funny, though, is when, when they made the Eichel deal, and, I mean, when they got Petrangelo, too, when they made the Eichel deal... The whole hockey world went, does the salary cap not apply to them? And yesterday was proof that actually it does. So if if I said, hey, you'll trade those five assets for Jack Eichel, you say no. But that because they don't have any foresight to, hey, the, <laughs> we have to build a team under the cap. Ask Donov if he's got a trade list. Uh, like the, the, the asset management is just awful in Vegas. Also, and they need to they need to really fix that. When, when you think of it, I just want to rewind it. I know this is going hyper focused on something. But when you look at the Donov trade from Ottawa to Vegas, do you not 
not just in hindsight, but even at the time, I was like, it's a good pickup, but why? <laughs> yeah, I know. What like, you mean. why did you mm-hmm. get him? I really did you you needed a twenty goal, five million dollar player? Is that what it was? Here's my question for for NHL teams at the very tippy top, circling mm-hmm. or cycling through the same 40, 45 men. Yep. Men's. Men's. What do you have to lose by picking someone different? Half of these guys who have been in the league for years don't know the fucking rules or how to count. Well, I would wonder too, like, you know how they interview players? They're like, you know, before they're drafted, right? They're like, well, what's, you know, how did our team do like? They'll ask you about like their team too. They're like, if the Mm -hmm. Leafs are interviewing you, they'll be like, how did we do? Mm -hmm. Where do you think we could improve? And they'll be like, and then what what animal would you be and why? Stuff like that, right? Weird (laughs) shit. When you're interviewing a GM, beyond just the GM's plan, would a quiz on the cap system be a relevant thing? Like, yeah. what if I just threw out, like, a, if I got, I would be like, Brandon Pridham, okay, Brandon, listen, can you give me a, ca- a stumper? Give me a, give me a multiple choice on this aspect of the cap. And if the, G- and if the guy gets it, uh, maybe I'll consider him. If he doesn't, I'm, he's out. Like, I would want, I would want, if I'm a billionaire and you're running my five to $700 million franchise toy, toy yeah. I'm going to want somebody who knows it. And if, and if you don't know it 100%, who's your guy that knows it like Brandon Pridham knows it? You ever go driving and you're like, how many people am I on the road with right now who would fail their, like, G test? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How many, like, I, I saw a TikTok recently. It's, um, if you're making a left-hand turn, the, the, the guy asks his co-host this. He goes, if you're making a left-hand turn, right. which way should you face your wheels? Uh... A left-hand turn? Yeah. Like, are you in the intersection? You're in the intersection waiting to make a left-hand right. turn. Which way do you face your wheels? You, you do it right. You do the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Or well, like straight. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. You don't, if you, if you face them left and you get hit from behind, you get pushed in the intersection. Right. How many of you, yeah. So if you're making a left-hand turn, your wheels are facing left and you get hit from behind, you go into oncoming traffic. How many of you just learned that for the first time? A lot of people. Turn in your license. <laughs> but but that, like that to me is that's GMs. All right, explain like, how this okay, relates. <laughs> okay, because you've had the job for years, yeah. and you either never knew the rules or forgot. Ah, you need updated. You need, you need you want, to update you Chuck, your information. You want to send Chuck Fletcher to GM school? A little brush yes. up. Yes, it's like expecting Kelly McCrimmon. Kelly McCrimmon. It's like I know, I know, it, it's, it's Kelly McCrimmon, but it, coffee doesn't stay hot. You know, <laughs> and and I maybe Kelly McCrimmon's lost his touch or like we know the, the GMs need to regularly be emailed, mass emailed the rules. I'm sorry if you have a group and you're making mistakes like that, the group has failed. It's not even just one guy. Well, like what the Vegas Hire general manager. But you do they listen to, to this person? But I also have to say, Steve, you can have those people around. But if they're not, if you're not going to listen to them, yes, and you're just going to be like, "Fuck it, I'm doing it anyway." Not much, you, you know. Yes, I guess, quote unquote, the group fails, but it comes down to the leader. Yeah, Kelly McCrimmon calls that shot, and as long as George McPhee is happy with Kelly McCrimmon, it's going to continue. Kelly, it's not the dub. Well, tell George that. It's and the thing the is, is that these guys aren't going to care because they're going to get fired and uh, at some point because everybody does. I'm not saying they're getting fired this year, but they get fired and then everybody goes, well, Vegas has a shitty reputation, but it's not my problem because I'm not there anymore. They're, they're running Vegas like the like a WHL team. There's a cap here, man. Yeah. There's and, a cap here. There's lots of money at stake. And it's you can't keep doing this. They would tell you that it's ruthless. I would tell you that it's beyond ruthless. It's stupidity. It's just, it's just stupid. And like, I understand ruthlessness. I also understand ruthlessness. Like, it's just like, I'm going to go out and be stupid to be stupid. Like, really, it's like, uh, you know, okay, there's, there's, you're in the, you're in the line of battle and people are shooting a bunch of stuff at you. You can stand up and run directly at the gunfire or, which is brave, (laughs) but stupid, or you can do the brave thing and sneak around and try to take it, take out that turret. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's just, it's one of those where I just feel like Vegas is like, you know what? Everybody rise up. Let's go. We're going over the trench. It's crazy. I can, 
like and the again the strangest thing at the end of the day with Vegas is the team's good. Oh, sure, team's good, but they they'll be better when their goalie plays. Also, they fired their head coach too. We got to remember that. Yeah, who they? Oh, DeVore. Bruce Cassidy. They went out and got. Mm-hmm. Really good hire. Great coach. Like, honest to God, they could win the Stanley Cup. Mm-hmm. What, Still which, shitty asset management, dude. Which just goes to show the only reason that the Stanley Cup is won in any given season is because someone has to win it. 